close your eyes and watch your breath. Try to remember to stay with the breath all the way in, all the way out. And keep watch over the mind to make sure it stays right here. If it's not staying, then bring it back. If it is staying, try to be extra sensitive to how the breathing feels. What kind of breathing would be comfortable right now? If your body's feeling tired, what kind of breathing would be energizing? If you're feeling tense, what kind of breathing would be relaxing? If you're simply feeling worn out from life as it generally happens, what kind of breath would be soothing? These three qualities, remembering to stay, being alert to see what's going on, and then being ardent and fixing things, making things better. These are the three qualities that go into establishing mindfulness. As the Buddha said, if you want to find a refuge, you do it by establishing mindfulness. This is how you take refuge in the Dharma, but you also take refuge in yourself. In other words, you remember the Buddha's teachings, you remember the qualities of the Buddha embodied in terms of wisdom, compassion, purity. And you try to bring them to, into being in yourself. But to do that requires these three qualities. Remembering, of course, is mindfulness. It's one of the meanings of the words, sadhana, something that you keep in mind. In addition to being a refuge, you keep it in mind. And then you look to see what you're actually doing. Is it in line with what the Buddha taught? If it's not, you try to be ardent in making it, bring it in line. Any hindrances coming up in the mind, you try to abandon them. Anything good coming up in the mind, you try to develop it. You don't just sit here watching things, and you don't forget. It's so easy in this world today because the media keep pressing themselves on us, that their concerns should be our concerns. And they're basically telling you that the most important things in the world are not what you're doing right now. You should drop what you're doing and pay attention to them. That's what they're saying, because so, what somebody else is doing, they say, is more important. But remember the Buddha's message is what you're doing right now. That's what's important. So you have to keep that in mind if you want to find a refuge inside. Because people outside can't provide you with a refuge. Even the Buddha himself, he's an example, but he can't save you from your own unskillful qualities. That's work you have to do for yourself. So develop these three qualities, mindfulness, alertness, ardency. And that way you find a refuge inside. You take the qualities of the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Sangha, and they become a reality within you. And that's when you're really safe.